And now for a quick disclaimer. The T-Bone in the Morning Show is the opinion of T-Bone and T-Bone only, even if you agree with him. They do not reflect the policies or opinions of the Department of Defense, the United States Navy, or the Armed Forces Network. Thanks for listening. Minutes before they finally end. It's like he's done this before. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> so if you can't tell by the, by the voices, this is DJ AT, DJ Andreas, and of course, the one and only... T-Bone in the Morning! And we, we're here. It's our first show together in a long time. A so. threesome. Wow, go figure that. That's kind of weird. Yep. Especially. Already, already. <laughs> like, I was like, well, that's the one. <laughs> the first yeah, so. No yeah. illusions about what this show's going to be about. <laughs> right, yeah. All appropriate. So, so you two are a morning show now. We are. Yes. We, I, I a, like, a morning show. Yeah, we are we a morning are show. are technically a show in the morning. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. correct. We're You're here like and... boyfriends that are just like boys that are friends. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> is okay. that where you just tried to go with that? Yes, technically, we are a show that's on in the morning. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, the two-person format, I-, I know from Friday experience once a week, every week for the last four years, give or take a week here or there and a suspension here or there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I, mean, part, we already, I feel like we're already on the right track for maybe another one. That two-person format really works. It's so much better in the morning to hear someone talking to someone else than someone talking to themselves. Uh, I so, no. congratulations. What's the name of the show? Well, we haven't gotten that far. Yeah. So, uh, so I figured out. We're you want to spend new- this morning figuring it out? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. That could be the <laughs> nice thing you've done for somebody this week. Is you talk to you, like, oh, I, I help know. these guys we could just come up with a title for a show. We could just shoot it out to the Rota community and be like, have, you guys- I mean, have you had to? Well, first of all, you know, no one in the Rota community is listening right now. Hey, it? in no, it, man. Nor will they be listening in the future. Hey, <laughs> you, know the, you know the man's always listening. The man is listening, yes. I mean, I don't Have think Have you ever so, gotten no. that phone call from Germany? It's like, um, that, no, don't do that again. I wait, I wait, because there's certain days where, like, I just don't want to be on the radio, so I just play none of the schedule. And I just, <laughs> you can tell, like, the days where I'm done, I'm like, it's all my music today. Everything I want to listen to, I won't, I refuse to sit here and listen to YouTube while they play Post Malone for four hours. When, uh, when I had the show with Sicanilla, I loved the fact that the, the man, because it was still localized at the time, uh, uh, AFN the Eagle had not come to fruition quite yet so the man was sitting several offices away the chief mm-hmm. for the station was there and you know I, I would be on my traffic talk Tuesday rant I would be going off about something and I would say something of course not over a line but real close to it uh, and, and the, are you sure I'm pretty sure uh, I know I'm where sure. the line is uh, and I walk right up like, to it uh, like you dip your toe in the deep end of the line <laughs> right just maybe, wave, maybe a foot in and see I how wave it's at right. other people on the other side of the line but I know where the line is and uh-huh. uh, and he would always call you know of course while we were on air and we could take calls on air because we were a real radio station. I uh, can take calls on air. Yeah, yeah don't can you? do it. Yeah. I dare you. No. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know how. You got to use the button. There's there's a lot of buttons I got to go through, and I'm not. It's, it's not a practiced <laughs> art. Some like it's, dials. It, you got to do different things. It would be it's a show. very complicated. I mean, I can barely get the bed right. Apparently. Oh, I. And, you know the great thing about not having headphones on today? I'm not being distracted by it. Uh, and, f- and I greatly appreciate it. Honestly, <laughs> you sat in the right seat. What I did notice, uh, although with you two working together, haven't been hearing a bed lately. I, will, I I do put I know I do put a bed while I'm in the control seat right now and then switch. So the music is much better with him, but there's no bed. Yeah, yeah. I well, I use the I'm bed. New. I, 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 I use the bed. To be fair, to be you, fair, he gives a better bed. Now yes. I think we we've, we've said bed enough. We need to probably explain that. However, the technical term is just music in the background. That's that's all we're talking about. Is that when we're talking, you should hear a nice little subtle music in the background. He yeah. creates some really nice and unique beds, and I enjoy oh, that. Thank you. More like I steal them from a website. <laughs> like right now, our bed right now is uh, an instrumental version of Santana. Uh, evil ways right nice and low nice Nice and easy it's not like we're singing along with the music we're just it's there yeah and you uh you play the standard stuff but you play it a little bit louder uh it's because or have beds made or my headphones are turned up real high and i just think it's louder and it's incredibly distracting and if you don't believe me folks while you're working out in the gym this morning turn your headphones up real high and then try to have a normal conversation with the person next to you it's it's quite difficult. It's pretty funny. Am I yelling right now? Am I yelling right now? Yeah, take it down. I take it down. A I can't. Bit. I can't work out in gyms anymore. I get kicked out of gyms a lot. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, uh, not because I'm fat and ugly and grotesque or anything like that. I mean, I put on clothes. I'm not the Planet Fitness guy. There's a new rule about that. You can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't get kicked out for that. So. You have to at least put on, I don't know what, like a banana hammock. You yeah, have to cover I, at I least got, the yeah. essentials. I got it covered. And so I, I've got all my clothes on. I'm, I'm good to go. And I don't work out. I've got a good intent. But I, I love hardcore rap music. And I also love singing along with songs that I like. And there's only so many times you can say certain words before they, uh, <laughs> they ask you not to come back anymore. Like gosh darn or something, right? Like they say that. They, they rap that a lot. Yeah, goodness gracious. Goodness, goodness. Okay. So it's T-Bone in the morning. I'm joined in the studio with my special guest, uh, DJ AT and DJ Andres. We're going to have a real good show for you today because it's the last show you're going to get from me, uh, at least for a while. Oh, really? That's right. It's time to recharge my batteries, baby. Wow. Yeah. Man. Running low. As you, right. can, as you can tell, I'm running low. All right. Yeah, I can tell. Also from all your <laughs> Facebook posts. I feel like I know more about your dog's life than I do about my own life at this point. Oh, you see the walk I took it for last night? It was amazing. Uh, I did see it. And I was like, <laughs> this man's dog has like a stronger social media presence than I do for sure. All right. Let's play more music, though. Here's some Little Troy with Wanna Be a Baller. That was Snoop Dogg with What's My Name, DJT. No. You just got stumped. Don't get stumped. Oh, I definitely got stumped. You know Don't why? Because It's uh, not DJT and DJ Andres. You guys need to come up with a morning show radio name. But until uh, then, on Friday mornings, it's t in the morning. See, that makes sense. <laughs> and I got stuck not because uh, of what I was. <clears throat> it's because I forgot that I was going to play your... Your intro? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could pause. Go ahead. No, it's, I mean, we had definitely just talked all the way through it. It just played all the Here, way through. Here, I'm going to do my own. That's <laughs> my own liner. <laughs> Go play. Yeah, we're in. <laughs> so, wait, you mean it was playing and I was talking through Yeah, because I mean, I was like, oh, because when I throw a bed up there, it just gives me like a timestamp and not uh -huh. like a name of anything. So, I like threw it in there. I was like, oh, I already have a bed in there. So, we just started talking. Uh huh. And then in the background, I was like, what is this noise that's going on? But it's so good. Uh, Here's what we should think about hand signals. I, I know it seems crazy, but if I'm talking when I shouldn't be and I'm not wearing headphones like I am right now, just a stop hand motion like this would have let me know to shut up. I could do that. Well, see. Go ahead, try it. Me, I'm me, talking, me being stopped, and then you want to say something, and you just throw up the hand signal, and you're not doing it. At any point while I'm talking, you're supposed to be there's, there's, Yeah, You're not saying anything appropriate. I mean, we kicked off the hour with uh, us wrapping up a conversation, like the last little lines. You said something funny. He laughed. I was just like, I'm just going to play it. I mean, when, let them know. <laughs> let the audience know that we have fun we when, are, they're, I, when I, they're not around. I think this is a, yeah, a good, that's just it. We've just doubled our listeners. Because there's, the an extra, <laughs> because there's an extra person in the studio, the one listener we have out there in the ter terrestrial land and the one person we have. Now we're, there's three of us. Right. Plus one. So it's a foursome now instead of a threesome. Oh, the listeners! I was like the, the one listener. I don't, I don't do ghosts. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just somebody Where outside did? the window watching. Just staring at the screen. Creepy would here. that be? Be How terrifying. Creepy would that be to somebody just roll up and stand outside be, the window? It would be terrifying, honestly. Like I don't think I'd. So it if you've well. uh, been trying to communicate with me this morning, let me go ahead and share this little piece of knowledge with you. I do not have my phone on me. Uh, nowhere to be found. I obviously left it with Zeus, my uh, personal assistant, to take my calls. What are you so, talking about? He's streaming live right now. <laughs> right now. So uh, if you want to make any comments about the show, whereas I always press you to please call 727-1025 or hit us up on the AFN Rota Facebook page and you always decide to just PM me or you know make comments on my page. Don't do that this morning. Uh, don't, don't do that. Go to the AFN Rota Facebook page if you want to talk about the wonderful time that we're having this morning yeah. and that we're trying to include you in. How are we doing on the zombie watch? Uh, they have 18 uh, minutes. Eight to 16. I got 16. By, right. There's no clock anymore. How is all of our clocks synchronized 18. except the one in the radio? How The radio station clock is never right. What you There's literally the only clock in here is on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're always doing math trying to figure out where that is in comparison oh, to the real time. Because the Navy had this great idea, right, when they upgraded our systems. And they're like, we're going to give them, like, time 
for the end of the hour so that they never have to like do that back time math. Uh, and then, so for right now, it is. And it hasn't worked it's, yet. Yeah, it's 643. And uh -huh. apparently, the top of the hour is in negative 167 <laughs> minutes. Obviously. Two seconds. Yeah, because that makes the most sense, right? So I need to go back in time to meet the top of the hour. So. I don't do. I just estimate nowadays. I'm that's, off a I mean, lot. Like, yeah, psh. but the problem with estimating is, and if anybody's been listening to AFN Radio long enough, you know when a DJ estimates poorly because you get that same silly little instrumental song that lasts like two oh. to three minutes long, and you're like, oh, it must be the top of the hour because this is not a song any normal person would ever would listen, listen to. to. Yeah. Oh, look, human music. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the worst part is when you like you calculate the hour and the uh you're like, all right, cool. So I'm gonna put in like, I don't know, Billy Joel piano man, and it'll take me like ten seconds over, which is like pretty much exactly what, what I the, need. Yeah. But then you like you play and then you don't you're like, all right, it says it fades, so there's gonna be it should end perfectly on time. And then it fades out like forty five seconds early and you're like, What am I supposed to do with this thirty seconds? Like it, the the song says it's still playing. Some of the classic rock, good. too, like, oh, close, are like a hard ending. Great. Yeah. It hard ends. Yes. But it's still like eight seconds left on the time. Yeah, of the you're song. Like, like, I don't even know. It's just it, dead oh, air. Man. I just switch it over. It, you it, know, it is what it is. Desperately, I just want to shove that microphone right in your face. I would. I see how close not. he is? See, see that? That's good microphone discipline Look, right there. I can hear myself. Like, I'm I'm peaking just for you. Like, I'm way over the levels <laughs> see, that I'm supposed I, to be I in I got right good now. microphone discipline, and I'm doing my best at voice modulation, which I know I suck at. I know I'm not good I at I mean, that. I'm keeping your, like, half volume right now, <laughs> and you're still, like, maxing the entire thing. But uh, so uh, what we tried to do uh, last week before the dynamic duo here uh, became a team, because this, <laughs> this is just this week, right? It's a nickname I have for two other people at the gym. <laughs> I give gym names to everybody. He does. They're very creative. <laughs> so you two together uh, just started this week. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, I came back from leave. On okay. Sunday, right. so and then Monday. you're going. I'm on going leave. on leave. That's so, so funny. Yeah. Uh, last week, uh, me and DJ Andres were starting this uh, positively Pride Day. Yeah, you know, I I couldn't. I so could. when you told me this earlier, positively Pride Day. Yes. And I was like, I can't say I I don't understand if he's like, positively like, pride like you hear pride in the word like Pride Day. No, and pry I was like, as into pry into someone's. Business. June was Pride Month. We're in July. It's, yeah, I know. It's, it's, but it's when you right. say you say you know positively Pride Day, why not? It I'm sounds not like Pride. Like you're prideful. not prying. It sounds like. Pride Day, like every Friday for you is Pride Day, and I mean Pride Day Friday. I mean I'm in full support, you know. Live your life, you know. But uh, okay, so so it's so what what we have been trying to do, uh, and, and we had a little bit of success with it last week, is we're just we're reaching out to the the few members of our very very loyal and appreciated audience. We know there's only four of you, David Lee Inman. Yeah, yeah, I know they, the one by yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. He, he Max, messages the Max group and Hareth. I mean, yeah, Max yeah. and Hareth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Chick Brew's mom, she's a big fan of the show, although oh. she doesn't listen live, oh, unfortunately. Yeah, catches it later. Um, uh, a friend of mine at DMA is an honest listener, or listens all the time, but probably not live. So anyway, for those few loyal listeners that we have, we appreciate you so much. And we just reach out. We're trying to find out, in your last week on this planet that's hurtling itself through space, what have you done to help your fellow man what what kind act of positivity have you done to a person or to a group of people that uh, kind of made you feel better about yourself because if you do something positive for somebody you're going to end up feeling better about it I, you're right I, I, I am sure there's the antithesis of that i'm sure that there if you are an evil Ugh, succubus. No, that's the wrong word to use. Although a funny word to use, the wrong word to use. Oh, well, here it is. <laughs> that tingle in my spine. It's like, well, succubus is a real thing, but is. I am not saying that. I don't want it. I don't want it to be implied because if you know the definition of the word, I'm not saying that. Hmm. Let me think. Need something all inclusive <laughs> for all, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, all more, of the genders. Right. Yes, and all the relationships. And exactly. Genders. Yes. Exactly. Uh, if you're an evil person, and and if you do something evil to other people throughout the week, maybe you get your jollies off that way. Maybe that's what makes you happy. I don't know, uh, but I do know because I I try to live my life from the positive perspective. If when I do something good for someone, it makes me feel good. Right. 
So if uh, if that works for me, maybe it works for you. And we're trying to find out those stories. If you've done something positive, I know last week, I, I don't remember who it was that gave us, a, uh, that they took the shopping carts back to the corral at the commissary. I know it was yeah. a woman, it was like Sarah or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe Sarah. it was Amanda. I don't know. But it was somebody who just thought that that would be a nice thing to do. And although it didn't affect anyone directly, it does affect everybody yeah, indirectly, and it, it is a nice thing to do. It is nice. Because I hate getting the weird shopping cart that she could tell us from like three decades ago, and it's like oversized, and it's like huge, and one of the wheels shakes the entire time. And yes, like, and somebody's kid is in it with a bunch of food, and you're right? like, how did this happen? Yeah, like, Man, this isn't my kid. <laughs> this looks like my food, but this isn't my child at all. I, what's going on here? Just return it to the front. Yeah. I'll take the cart. Yeah, you yeah. take this thing. And Do you ever mess sorry, with Sorry, that kid's been here for like 10 years. I'm sorry. Yeah, right? but, you ever mess with people? in a grocery store? No. Why would I do Have that? You? No, that's, that's the opposite of what this yeah, segment's that's exactly about. Really? No, no, no. It can be very fun uh, and funny. You just have you have you to know what you're doing. You're talking about, you know, you're doing nice things. Doing nice things for yes. other people. And you're talking about not like, doing nice things. <laughs> like messing with people in the, in but the commissary. But if you can make someone laugh unexpectedly, okay. that's doing a nice thing for them. Uh, are you so, sure you know, like laughter see, like they're enjoying it or like see awkward the, laughter? The, the, awkward laughter is still laughter. Uh, it's still laughter. Um, From a safe distance, a, absolutely. Uh, say uh, 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 an elderly gentleman is uh, pushing his cart and, and he's momentarily distracted. And then you put a, a a feminine product inside his basket in a way that he doesn't see it. So when, when he's checking out, he has to have that moment of clarity. Like, am I losing my mind? Did I did I put this in here <laughs> or? What what it's funny and if, especially if you could be there for their reaction. I mean, it is. It sounds funny. Yes. But that definitely defeats the purpose of doing something nice for <laughs> someone. It's all about. You're giving, you're giving this old person like fear of Alzheimer's, like and schizo. Like You've I don't, never I don't taken know. Somebody's cart. What's my name? What's my kids' names? Like how old am I? No, it's not. Never funny, taken but. somebody's cart. No, I even just that? moved it like 30 or 40 feet. Mess with a friend. Nothing like that. No, why would I do All right. That? So I guess the things I do to be positive and to make other people happy, I'm kind of doing out of a balance because maybe I am a, a male succubus. Maybe, maybe. maybe I am. It's called a, an incubus. An incubus. Is it called an That's, incubus? Yeah, there's an incubus. <laughs> I don't have access succubus. to Google this morning. And I don't is know that a true story? Other... <laughs> yeah, an incubus. So, yeah. It's, it's... Incubus is the opposite of a succubus. Yeah, succubus is a female... Right. Yeah, and the male version. I did is, not know that. Incubus. Yeah. So the band back in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the band. I yeah, just thought so there was who, just a, a weird. Never name. looked it this up. Is a cool name. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's an it's an incubus. It's I can't like Red Hot you. Chili Peppers. I never looked that one up. What does that mean? Don't want to know. It's pretty pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I can't tell you what any of the other genders are because I I can't even name half of them or like a third of them. I know. And now we go back to the music. 727-1025. Call us in the studio or hit us up on the AFN Road to Facebook page and tell us about something that you have done in your last week on This Rock. And good for somebody else, or nice to somebody else, or just... That's not putting, not messing with people in the commissary. Yeah, well, yeah. okay, I guess apparently that's excluded. It is excluded. Wu-Tang with Gravel Pit. What? Wu-Tang! <laughs> Oh, that's a great bed. I have right? This, oh, I know. Because we have that website. I just take any of the good beds that I like, and I put them all under my name so I can find them. We but. have to be very, as a team, gentlemen, we have to be very careful of that. Because off air, we have great conversations, and we're laughing, and we're having a good time. And then you just, like, instantly, like, we need to go back in the air. You can't do that. You got to give us, like, a breather. You got to give us a, a clear right. separation between off air, ha ha, and uh, maybe some hand signals, like you mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone give me some flags. I got you. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, you just spelled I am. Never mind. Uh, so <laughs> ha. I don't want to know what you were where you were going with that. Well, just... semaphore was an important part of raising children in my family. So when uh, when your child is growing up and they're starting to comprehend the English language, you have to find ways to talk around them. You know, normally it's spelling, but before you know it, they know how to spell. Right. And then you spell things backwards. Before you know it, they know how to spell things backwards too and then morse code and semaphore were codes that they weren't real good at cracking until they were like 16 or 17 and by then i'm speaking a different language that's i mean pig latin was invented to speak around your children well i mean so what you're telling me is that your parents just carried around like flags all the time so they can no no no. you can do semaphore without flags you can just use your hands matter of fact you don't even have to extend your hands all the way you could just say a little message like this and i know what that meant you don't (laughs) ha ha I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm questioning if this is. I would like the flags. I feel like the kids are like, why don't you ever invite me to your house? 
you know, <laughs> yeah, my parents. Right. And then you like, that curtain, like you flash like the flags just going over like, no, okay. Right. I can't do that. I can just see it at like their like 10th birthday party. It's everyone singing happy birthday and they're like, <laughs> flags out. And they do like the whole what? song and, and the code. They need more, and, they need more soda. Sharon. <laughs> right? What? Get what the cake. A, Get what the if cake. American Sign Language was never invented and everybody just used <laughs> so for oh it? Gosh. It'd be, it'd be a oh. different world, obviously. We, that would finally be a profession for all the signalmen that we used to have in the Navy when they left the Navy. There was no job. No. There was never a job. Hey, what do you? what is your uh, you know, your career specialty? What, you've been in the Navy 25 years. What did they train you on? Well, I, I take a flag in one hand and I take a flag in the other and I wave them around to another guy with flags and send messages back and forth. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Great you'll, job. you'll be a good fit here at Microsoft. <laughs> they got that hand-eye coordination. We're going to put you as a director of the parking lot. Yeah, uh, that's why. The other guy, I took a computer class in high school. You're hired. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's uh, Positively Friday. Yes. See, Friday, Friday, get it? Yeah. I We're, know, but when yeah. you say it, it. I'm emphasizing the why. Friday. Okay. Pry. Okay, no, I like I understand like the concept. It's just I'm just telling you that it's positively Friday. Look, I'm looking for some alliteration here, all right? I'm trying. I, to, I mean, I'm trying to make this I, into I a thing. It. I see it, and I and I'm all for it. I'm all for you know doing good for the community and giving back. But calling it Friday didn't work. It, it it's just really like. So we'll change it to positively Friday. You, you got an issue yeah. with Fozzy? I mean, no. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one Bear can hear or you. Bob. Who, who, who doesn't, <laughs> they can hear me. My levels are over here peaking. I'm way over the red right now. What are you talking about? So uh, currently, uh, we have no responses from our listening audience. So we no. uh, did some in poll studios. And DJ Andres, uh, what do you have as far as something that you've done nice for someone else on this planet in the last week? So one of the fellow MCs here, he's new like myself, MC3 Mar. He found out the week he arrived that his wife was pregnant. Congratulations! And yes. good job. Right? <laughs> they just figured out what, or they had gone. They'd done the appointment. Like they, they know what the gen. They know the gender was noticeable. So, but they wanted to do like a video so they could Already? share with their family. Well, this is back. They like, <laughs> they found out like literally the end of April. So it's been a couple months since then. I'm sure. I'm sure they figured it out by now. I don't know how many months they're due. Uh, baby they're due was eventually. A- Baby was two weeks old, and they knew what the gender was already. They got it. <laughs> so they figured it out this week, and they needed help revealing it. They didn't know themselves, but they wanted to share it with the family. So I went to their house. They had this thing where, like, they had hard boiled these eggs and like painted like hat, like a whole twelve, like a cart or whatever. Yeah, carton, yeah, a dozen. There you go, a dozen, a dozen, dozen, and painted ten of them blue and pink. Like each, they rotate, and then two of them. We're left blank because, like, I had there. Give me the note. Hey, we don't know what it is. Just when you say, paint the one and then mix it back up. Ended up doing, yeah. So they did like a Facebook live where they're like cracking their hard bolts so and like make a mess on each other. Oh, like, it takes the fun out of it. So it's so, hard, but like it kind of hurts more when it's Yeah, hard exactly. Yeah. And uh, so they go to hey, eventually. Legal like, ways to assault your wife. <laughs> Gender reveal party. And then eventually they get to the last one. And it was a boy. So he had a, he has a daughter about one and a half. She'll mm-hmm. be like two right right after the baby's born tonight. So he's really excited. And like they're having a boy, but it's funny thing about that. So those the, like the one last egg. They was like the, on the eleventh egg was the reveal. They just happened to have a twelve. So it was a joke. Like he was gonna like just like smash on her head because like, oh it's hard boiled. It wasn't hard boiled all the way. So he straight up got egg in his wife's hair, mm. and he's oh. bald. So like he doesn't care. Like it, yeah. like it wouldn't have matter. But yeah, he got so that. Was, yeah, he's never gonna live that down. Yeah, that was yeah. that was funny. It's too bad I didn't get that on the, the Facebook on, live video. Oh, I was gonna that say, wasn't on. That it, was like uh, they were like, hey, thank you so much for watching. Like we're so excited of a close out egg smash. Agnes' wife's hair. Yeah, you put a it, damper on the it, celebration. It doesn't go for viral COVID. unless you catch the embarrassing end piece. Why didn't exactly. Why didn't you have some purple eggs? Huh? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just throw them all off. <laughs> we don't know what this is. Um, here's the it's great, a child. Here's the great thing about the a ultrasound. Baby. I mean, you, you, when it comes to medicine, no one's an expert in medicine. People practice medicine. That's yes. what doctors do. They practice. So the sonar tech that says, oh, my God, you want to see your baby? Because we can tell right now what this baby is. 
probably looking at an umbilical cord, you know, and then the baby comes out. It happened actually, it did happen with my oldest daughter. So they did the sonar thing and they said, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we were in Canada, so they, they can't tell you what the gender of the child, at least they couldn't back then, maybe they can now. Is that part of the free health care? Like, we can't Yeah, we can't. It's, yeah, it's a service we don't offer because it's a, free. You, you exactly. definitely have a baby in there. But, it but has, in, it in the delivery room, when my oldest was uh, pulled out, um, and, and it was like a, a university hospital, so there's like 40 people in the room. And every one of these 40 people, like, it's a boy, 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 eh? it's a boy, it's, it's Canada, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, it's a boy. Like every one of them said, it's a boy, and then without an apology, without a sorry, without anything, yeah, no sorry, yeah, they, no, no so sorry. I like, <laughs> I like how you're definitely emphasizing these like stereotypical <laughs> Canadian I, words. Well, I lived in Newfoundland of all places, which is not even normal Canada. It's Newfoundland, which is right. a fantastic version of Canada. And then without an apology, without missing a beat, they just all began going, "It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy." I'm like, what? That happened. I was supposed to. <laughs> Wait, actually, it was a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Distracted me on the Newfoundland thing. Yes, the, uh, uh, you brought up Newfoundland. <laughs> <laughs> the second time around, it was it's a girl, it's a girl with no apologies whatsoever. So I don't like gender reveal parties because, I mean, this was in person and they made a mistake. Imagine looking through the microwave image of your child. <laughs> It's, not, it's definitely not a microwave. It's similar. It's a same technology. Semantics. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure the baby gets warm and moves around a little bit. You know, from the vibrations. I don't know. I have no idea. I, how, I, I, I don't. I, everything is magic to me. It literally like, says <laughs> ultra sound. So you would think that they use the sound. It's like echolocation. Echolocation. In okay, your stomach. Yeah. More or less, yeah. They use yeah. the sound to map the inside of your... Uh, oh, okay. Or, and so this is your chosen profession. What? To talk about someone else's profession. Yeah. All right. That's good, what I'm good. apparently getting paid for. Uh, not what I'm trained for. It's what I'm No, obviously for. not trained for. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a gender reveal party. That's awesome. I mean, you know, somebody... I mean, there's always a need for a camera person. There's still sunflowers out there right now, and somebody is not getting sunflower photos because they don't have anybody to take the photo for them. Oh, my gosh. Right? I can't. Every year they <laughs> come up, and I'm just like, oh. everyone does the same thing. It was hilarious. Like, I guess in one of the stand-ups recently, they were like, I hate like social media. She was like, I was at dinner with this girl, and we took 120 photos to find that perfect one. And then she was like, we need one where everybody's smiling. And like the entire table was like, get out. And then they're like, <laughs> also, hey, like, they're like, you just happen to spontaneously catch me in a field of sunflowers staring majestically <laughs> at the sun as my dress billows in the wind. I was like, that's a that, good photo. That's, that's exactly what I see. It's not spontaneous. That is, that is planned. That I is, have no problem with that. I can't. Who, who doesn't my, do that? My I mean, Facebook if somebody asks you to take a photo for them and, <laughs> and you're willing to do it, do you take one or do you take three? They have two chances. I'll take like three photos. I'll let them see it. If they don't like it, I'll take three more. And then it's like, I don't like it. It's like, you need another photographer. So before Val left, uh, she got like all the other Vals in the area to come into Studio B where the lighting was worse. And uh, I had a worse camera. Uh, uh, yeah, a camera that was not as good as I have now. And she, uh, I told her I would take a photo of all the Vals because I'm not a Val. So they're all lined up in there. And I, I take like six photos and that's it. You know, clink, 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 clink. Okay, one of these has got to be good. You would hope so. They were not. None of them. Oh. Every one of them came out blurry and shadowy. And I feel really bad for that because she got on a plane the next day. And uh, I, when I went to send her the photo, I'm like, I'm sorry. None of these are none of these are good at all. <laughs> Maybe that's but if why you I ever ask me to take a photo it. and you hand me a phone or a camera or something like that. I'm pushing that button several times. Yeah. And you, maybe you maybe to. you get the good photo. Maybe you don't. Like I said, I get three. I let them check. They don't like. They get three more, and if they don't like again, I'm like, I'm done. You had two two chances here, and so, I, I can't been, be here all day. When my family was here, maybe you know this is something for you when your family comes next week. Mm -hmm. uh, when my family was here, I take all the photos because I'm that no. guy. You know, yeah, you are that guy. I, I got a great camera. I take all the photos. I take some really good photos, and I take some really bad photos. I catch you in an awkward moment, whatever. I think they're beautiful because people are beautiful, and it's just you know natural. But uh, before they get posted up onto social media, we have a group meeting around the giant TV there, and I, I scroll through them, and everybody's got the opportunity to veto a photo, you know? Uh, uh, it looks like I've got my finger up my nose. Delete, you know? And that's pretty much what we do. So everybody's happy, 
when the photos finally get posted. No, I'm pretty, like, I'm really bad at, like, planned photos, but spontaneously I do pretty well. I just don't, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm very photogenic. I do this really awkward smile where it's like, you can tell I'm just like, uh, Yeah, but you do it all the time. We just thought it was a mental issue. Uh, I'm not even going to I'm not even going <laughs> to like a, uh, <clears throat> a chuckle. Anyways, but yeah, so like the ladies here from the Fleeting family here were here yesterday, and they like, I was there like, we're gonna take a photo. I was like, I'm really bad at photos. Like, we have like five of you already. Like, your our snap is like lit up with us in the studio. And I was like, okay, what I was like, it's good. And I was like, but you, I can't. Spontaneity is fine with me, but everything else I can't do. There's can't like a group of four stuff. from there, like a couple weeks ago when I was doing the show. Like, they didn't do it, but like some of them was like their first time. So that was like maybe like for like spontaneously for like 20 minutes is like I'd hear like a click every now and then like looking at them like no okay I'm not in it that's fine I just feel like they're very excited to take photos of each other right in the studio I'm not I'm not a huge photo taking person like I don't take selfies like I don't do that I don't really show up in photos ever so uh, I don't know you're a vampire well I mean I have to take selfies because nobody else will take a picture of me what about your your wife would you take a picture of me honestly you know seriously no, I don't. Yes. I, I, I'm the guy that takes the pictures because <laughs> that's no one's... man. <laughs> <laughs> I, one of the things I loved about China is because I'm so out of place in China. I am so amazingly out of place I'm in China. To Hong Kong. That uh, um, they lo- well no because I wouldn't be that out of place in Hong Kong. Exactly. In China, I was. Yeah. And uh, Hong Kong is chi- part of China. Now, but still different. Stop talking. <laughs> Corrections. Because the the uh, the Chinese would like want to take photos of me, but they were really respectful of my privacy, and they wouldn't ask to take a photo of me. They were doing it all very discreetly. Like you just notice, like that seems even sudden, less respectful. Of your the, privacy. the person's kind of like angling towards it's you with their camera. Kind of creepy. And I would just bogart them, man. Of course, I don't. You know, my Mandarin is not as good as it should be. I would just roll up on them, like, "Why are you taking my picture?" And then I would just throw that big old smile and flash a dimple at them, and I'd take pictures with him and i mean if you want to take a picture of a big fat white guy i'm, I, I'm your guy I, and that's the only country that ever wanted to do that well a little bit in japan okay i'm big in asia uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah blowing up that's what it sounds like when, when's your next tour uh, in the that's figures the of sense yes yeah of course <laughs> when's your next tour when you're going back i mean if you're big your fans must be waiting they must be following they're waiting for you and zeus at this point Ooh, yeah he's gonna have a following how about we go back to the music and then we come back and close this hour out? Uh, because you get a dog and you got one you know. I do. You I get do a know. dog because you could say protection. You can. I can't. But the bottom line, you can't. I forgot. Mine, mine's a big uh, The baby. bottom line is just, just love, man. <laughs> yeah. No animal loves you more than a dog. And you feel that love every day. Yeah. And uh, I, I am going to miss my dog more than you two. I understand. Since Combined. I've been, since I've been back, my dog has been, like, right underneath me the whole... Usually he's pretty independent, and he's pretty independent still, but, like, if I do something, he's, like... He tries to say within the area. Like, yeah. eyesight. Don't leave least. me again. He's like, yeah, don't. don't. <laughs> and I can, like, walk out the gate and walk back in, and it's like I've been gone for, like, two weeks, and he just loses his mind. But, yes, let's do some jump by crisscross, and then we'll come back and talk. Crisscross is going to make you what? Jump, jump. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy Mac will make you jump. <laughs> Hand signs have been used. I gave you like, I was like, we have like 20 seconds. We have like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had 20 seconds for the 75 second. Uh, maybe do, like, do, maybe do, like do, 20. The long fade out. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So uh, if I've learned anything from today's conversations, um, you need to stay off the internet. That's you know what it is? It's because I, I get on the internet at work. Uh-huh. When I'm at home, like I don't use my phone unless I'm like on the toilet. That legit. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you ever get a message from me, like in his past working hours, just know that's what's going on in my life. So, uh, but I, at work, I need to like, I have to be on Facebook when I'm on the air. Right. And there's like a lot, there's usually like some downtime. But you're very so susceptible scrolling. to what the, I look into it. What the rest of the world calls a hoax. Uh, yeah, I believe Because if I it's did. on the internet, it looks, that's why I'm writing a book. It's called the Abbreviated Almanac of Amazing Facts 2005 Edition. So that when everybody says, uh, just because you read it on the internet doesn't mean it's real, there's going to be a compendium book that's going to have all the crazy stuff in my brain in a book, and you can always go, yeah, 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 that is how they made Mr. Ed talk. (laughs) Peanut butter on his gums, right? Peanut butter on his gums, right? That is not the story I've been telling for years. 
I've been telling a different story, and if you buy the book, you'll know how they made Mr. Ed really talk. Can't you just give me one, like, <laughs> friend to friend deal? Yeah, yeah. When I'll the red buttons it. are not pushed, I can yeah. definitely tell you what it is. <laughs> So, uh, leading into the weekend, it is that time for our weekend safety brief. Always. Where we talk to the few members of our listening audience and hope in traditions of old hair care commercials that they tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, and then they, you know. Pyramid schemes. Yeah. It would have been better if I just said it, and then, like, the next time we'd have said it together, and then then all three of us would have said it together. Oh, is that what 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 those hands, I don't don't understand the hand signals. That's what it was. I don't do, I don't speak They tell two friends, and then... They would tell tell two two friends, friends, and then they would tell two two friends. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we failed again. So our weekend safety brief usually ends up, it's no surprise. We say the same thing all the time. It's not a we, it's you. We're relatively successful. You know, nobody, nobody has ever blamed anything that has happened over a weekend on us. So I would measure that as a term of success. I mean... No, on the air. Gonna knock some yes. Water, knock now, have some I gone right out yeah, and cool. have I gone out and just been like, well, I took a good nap and I'm wide awake, so we're just gonna go all night. And then they wake up somewhere and they're like, why did you leave me in the park on a bench? It's like, you you died at like two, and I was like, well, I could either put you in a cab or I could leave you here and come back and check on you. Sometimes okay. You're not, you're, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> well, because you said no one's blamed their incidents on the weekend on us, and I was like, well, that's not necessarily on true. AFN. On yeah, AFN, on our, correction. On, on AFN, on the safety brief. Uh, uh, yeah. Me personally, I, I've I've taken some hits. You just defeated everything. <laughs> you just. I had this wonderful balloon of positivity and learning that I was trying to float. I was just, just trying to make there. the correction. You're like, you're no just one's sitting blaming there with anything on us, and I was like, watch me put some holes in that. <laughs> Ping. I'm, much, I'm yeah. a dummy. Ping. Two o'clock in the morning by myself. Ping. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm drinking too much. Ping. Don't do I that. I didn't say drinking too much. I just said. You implied it. Uh, but I didn't say it. Yes, but uh, you implied it, which is just, the same. Just because you imply doesn't mean it's So true. Uh, now that we've gone on that way wicked detour, Incubus. You, <laughs> yeah. let's talk I'm starting about, a band, man. Uh, let's talk about what we really want to talk about, and that's about being smart and all the things that you do. Uh, uh, it's the weekend. It's southern Spain. The weather is amazing. The beaches are gorgeous. Get outside. Enjoy your life, but do it smart. Do it safe so that, uh, you know, you can do it again next weekend. But... And, and I'm so, oh, real interesting profile article I'm going to show you later that they did on me. I, I think came out really nice. And I talk about this thing called the Spain virus, where uh, the Spain virus is not a bad thing. Unlike the Spanish flu, which was a really bad yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. The, uh, the Spain virus is just this, this way of life that they live, especially down here in the Andalusian area where, man, it's just live your day. You know, it's not wait for the weekend. It's wait for the afternoon. Right? It's go home early. Take your family to the beach. The sun doesn't go down till ten at night. Have fun I, every day. They do what I kind of wish we would do. I really do. That and, sounds like my life. That's why I get along with Southern Spain. <laughs> so I've been doing it in California. I've been out of place for my whole life. It's just so much more relaxed, and no one's yeah. no one's working to be rich. Everybody's just working to to live. You know, right. to to do just what they. The guy that, that runs the churro stand out at Fuente Bravia works three hours a day. That's it. That's all he needs. He, he could work longer, but he doesn't have to. I've he seen that line. Want to. I've seen that line. That line is that, crazy. that line is only there because he's just there for a short period of time. And that's it. And that's fine. I, I love that. I love that thought in life. So uh, enjoy life every day. You, you never know when you won't have a one tomorrow. And uh, look forward to your weekends. But when you do have those times off, be smart about what you're doing. The sun is deceptive in southern Spain. It's only 73 degrees, but the UV index is a 1,000. Yeah. So make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. Remember, if you are a person of color, you can get skin cancer too. So that's right. Yes. Don't tell me that you're immune to skin cancer. Put some sunblock on. Uh, make sure you rub it in real good, though, because it looks weird when you don't. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm, we're going to come in and they're going to be like, I'm glad t is going on vacation. <laughs> it's going to be a mandatory one here in a little bit. Uh, if, you, if you're going to drink, drink like an adult. Don't get drunk. If you're going to get drunk, uh, make sure you have a plan. Do it with friends and people that you trust. Don't get behind the wheel of a vehicle. You know, it's probably smarter just not to, to lose control of your senses outside ever. Ever. 
And uh, with that, that's been your weekend safety brief. We're going to play music. I be- oh, no. No, it's almost time we're going for right to, we're going uh, straight to the 7.30, 730 stand-up. Stand uh, and I'm going to stay around after for a couple seconds there, and then I'll say goodbye, give my goodbyes. All right, cool. So coming up first, we have Frank Caliendo. Caliendo? Frank Caliendo. There it is. You don't realize how important a voice is till you hear the wrong one in its place. There's a reason they use the voice of James Earl Jones as Darth Vader in Star Wars and not a guy like Al Pacino, right? No, because this doesn't work. Luke! Come to the dark side. So we can rule the universe as father and son! can't breathe in this thing and I'm too stinking blind (laughs) I used to think that I was a little unstable and then I met every girl I've ever dated (laughs) and and they kind of keep it under wraps for a while you know everything seems cool and about two months in she's like maybe this weekend we could I'm crazy Why didn't you tell me sooner? I realized recently what I really need is a woman who loves me for my money but doesn't understand math. (laughs) My female friends complained about dating. My friend was like, I went out with this guy and he wanted to sleep with me after five dates. And I was like, no, he wanted to sleep with you after one date. He thought he might have a chance after five. He probably wanted to sleep with you after zero dates, but he thought a trip to Applebee's might grease the wheels a little. So that was it. Those are that great choices. Great choices of nice little something different. People make you laugh. Frank Caliendo, very very talented comic. My kids love Caliendo and Mike Birbiglia. Wow, you want to talk about a guy who's been around for a long time? A lot of people don't know who Mike Birbiglia is, but uh, back in the early '90s, he was doing USO tours and he would travel around the world and do shows. Fantastic guy, a fantastic person. A very, very funny and talented comedian that I've kept in touch with all these years. He's done he's done some video stuff for me over the years. Fantastic. Both very funny comics. Thanks for playing both of those. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. We previewed them. We, we, yeah. we, I searched earlier. I was like, yeah. this one. We tried to, I was listening to some Kevin James, and I realized, I don't yeah, really think don't. he's that funny. He's honestly. not. He's not. So, I don't really think Amy Schumer's that funny either. And no, I don't know if it's not taboo really. To say, so. I mean, yeah, she tries. I mean, Bless it's nice heart. to get it off my chest. Like, I feel like I've been holding it in for so long that I'm not a fan of Amy Schumer. But people are like, you have to like her because she's funny. Yeah. Like, I mean, South Park you... did a whole, like, a season about her. It's like, she's funny and she's a woman. And that's okay. Yeah. Women are funny. Get over it. Women are funny. Get over it. Get over it. But I don't think Amy Schumer's that Hey, funny. there are funny women there out there. There are. No, no, no. There are. Uh, but just not Amy Schumer. Tanya Lee Davis, one of my friends, is in the UK right now. She's very famous and blowing up as the scooter girl because of an issue on the train that she videotaped. Uh, she's doing a lot of publicity over there. She's a very talented and funny lady uh, my friend Julie Scroggins, uh, Scroggins she's very funny there's there's a lot of funny women out there, there that you probably don't know but you know when you're in the states go to a comedy club every once in a while and you'll you'll find there's a lot of people out there making people laugh uh, I gotta go do my normal job harass people in the building like, <laughs> like on Wednesday I feel like you were just following and me I am not gonna be here uh, for a little while because of vacation time I hope you enjoy your vacation I, I also plan hope on, you enjoy your vacation I plan on enjoying mine because it's time to recharge those batteries this has been uh, T-Bone in the morning ah, well, that's a good stretch out yeah. and uh, I'm just gonna say if you were a great person yesterday uh, make it a goal to be an even better person tomorrow. I love you, Rhoda, and I am out of here. All right, to sign to close T Bone out, we're gonna listen to Michael Jackson with "Remember the Time," <laughs> aka the most disrespectful music video I think I've ever seen in my life. And your homework assignment is to go watch it. Yeah.